afternoon, everyone. This is Andrew with Great Lakes Honey Beekeeper Association out of northern Wisconsin. Today is July 18th, Thursday, just around 2.30 p.m. and inside the afternoon. It is about 78 degrees out. Just had a little storm go up past us. Came back out to take a look at the activity here. Hive 1 in the middle. It's kind of steady. Hive 2 on the far right. A lot of activity outside. Must be some new brood doing some orientation flights. Got a lot of foragers coming in as well. And then hive three, which is a new hive. We turned around and had a queen cell inside it last week. Well, on the sixth, I should say. And it was capped. So today I want to go inside and take a look, see if I can find the queen cell, make sure everything is good in it. I did a quick peek yesterday, I didn't quite see it, but I really wasn't looking. I was just kind of doing a quick hive check on it real quick. I'll make sure that there's sugar syrup up inside the top box was still full, but it wasn't, so I ended up refilling it. Hive 1, I pulled off the queen excluder off Hive 1 yesterday because the bees weren't going up to the middle box. And of course, someone's poking me on Facebook. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get suited up, and I'm going to go inside the hive and take a look. Hopefully everything is good, and I can just go ahead and continue on for the day. But if I don't find the queen cell inside there, and if hive 3 to the far left doesn't have a queen inside it, or I can't find a queen inside there, I might have to take out a couple brood frames from hive 1, and swap some frames from hive 3 over to hive 1, so kind of taking and swapping frames back and forth. They are from the same hive. And start the process all over again. Now I did get my queen rearing kit yesterday. So I am also thinking about taking one of the medium deeps and throwing some queen cells on there and seeing if I can't get them to produce one that way. Might work out pretty good, I don't know. Still kind of debating on it. So many choices, so many options. So I will be back shortly and I'm going to try and get as much as I can on video. Alright, so I'm about to go into hive number three. You're going to have to make this kind of quick I guess today because we just got a tornado warning here issued about two minutes ago, not even. But it's just to the southeast of us, so I should be good. But I'm watching this storm cell that's coming towards us from Duluth area. People say it's a venture in beekeeping. They're not joking. Hello, girls. Yeah, I know. I'm here to do another quick inspection. I'm going to try to get him to move down towards the center. I don't want him up on top when I'm standing him down. Put a little bit of pollen up on here because I haven't been seeing them bring inside much pollen anymore lately. So I just want to see if they'll take it. Don't really mind if it drops to the ground. If it drops, they'll just go to the ground and grab it up. Alright, so let's see if I can get a good view of this. Okay, so last time, if I remember correctly, the queen cell should be within about here to here. No, oh, these three here should have one. They're drawing out the comb very nicely. So let's go ahead and start pulling some frames and see if we can locate it. I'm using this frame extractor because 
these things are another kind of tight. That one is undrawn. Yeah. This one they're working on drawing out. Hopefully that stays there. on this frame, just a handful of workers, I'll put them back in here, I believe this is the one that actually had the queen cell on it, honestly, because it had the burr comb on the bottom that they're using as a ladder to get up. This one is almost all drawn out. Just filling it in with some sugar syrup on this side. No clean on this one that I can see. This side has some pollen in there, some sugar syrup. drones on here, a lot of worker bees, no queen on here that I can see. It just so I can keep the smoker going. Just ready to paint the butt when it dies out on you. And then when you actually do need it, eh, you don't have it. Alright, so the laddering on this one. A lot of sugar syrup on here, some pollen up inside there. I haven't seen any eggs inside here whatsoever yet. And I see only some couple of drones here and there, a lot of worker bees. Queen cells not on this one as well. Different type of a caps, almost cap cell, but I don't know. It's angling downward. Is that where the queen bee might have been inside there or something else? I'm 
Oh, there it is. Now we see it. That's a different type of a cell. I'm not sure what that is. There's nothing in it though. So maybe that's a sign I need to put a couple more frames of brood in here. This way they can try to produce another queen. Maybe it just wasn't a good queen. They rejected her. Starting to produce comb on this one. That's awesome. I still haven't seen any queen in here though. And the queen cell is completely gone so far. So, any suggestions? Definitely be appreciated. Oh, that's a heavy frame. Again, this one's all sugar syrup, pollen. I see if I can see a queen on this one. Ooh, there's a queen. Wait a minute. We got a queen. She's right there. Holy shit. I'm sorry, watch my language. Yep, I know. She's there. We got a queen in here. All right. That is awesome. I'm gonna be this how they are now. I'm gonna have to pull her out a marker though, some way. I do have a queen catcher. I'm gonna try to figure that out. That's awesome. Woohoo! Hive number three is freaking going good. All right. Good job, girls. But I am going to do something a little different, I think. This one's drawn, this one's drawn, this one's getting drawn, this one's getting drawn. We'll put it right back. I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. That's a relief. The queen lives. Good job, girls. Now the question is, will she go and will she mate? Or has she already mated? She was actually kind of big. I don't know. I'm gonna just put them back in here and let them continue doing their things. Bees are smart. They, they only... Oops, sorry, I'm just trying to get you guys in there. They know what they need to do in order for them to survive, and that is how I'm taking it, and that's how I'm doing it. I'm trying not to interfere as much as possible. I let the bees do the bee thing, and I just assist with what I can when it's needed. All right, come on, closing the gaps. Closing the gap. One in there, closing the gap. Alright, gap's closed. Alright, now I got two undrawn here. We're gonna go ahead and push this one over. I like staggering the frames. What I mean is by putting an undrawn frame in the middle of a drawn out comb frame. To me it just seems like it gets them to start producing comb on it a little bit faster because they like working from the middle out. Oh. Come on, get out of the way. Hey babe, make my video. We got a queen in here. Uh, she's already on this side. I'm, I'm putting it back together and I'll show you on the video. My lovely wife Josie, say hi to everybody. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and... No, I'm not going to mark her yet. I have a queen uh, catcher coming in the mail here, so I'll use that to mark her. But right now, i see what she looks like. i see seen she's in there. Yeah, I'm excited now.
talking bees. You can hear the difference. I don't know if you're picking up on here. But before, when they had no queen, it was very quiet. Now, they are buzzing. They are really. Maybe I might have picked it up. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a dumbass. Part of my language. This is not meant for children. Ha ha ha. So on my next inspection, I'm going to end up turning around and cleaning the frames off. all centered out and push them together, gaps together. I'm excited. So she was not in there yesterday because I looked. I really looked good, honestly. And I say I did get kind of quick, but when I'm doing it kind of quick, this was kind of quick for me and this was actually just as long as I took yesterday and I was checking it out. I didn't see no queen inside there yesterday, so maybe she was off doing her mating flight. Let the bees do their bee thing. There's still frames in there so she can turn around and start laying it in there. If she's running around on the third frame on this side, maybe I'll go ahead and check that one next time and see if I see any larvae inside there. I don't want to disturb her too much, you know. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the sugar syrup. This is the only hive I have sugar syrup in. I have a sugar syrup feeder over there, outside of the hives. Handful of bees go over there, but not a lot of them, you know, just a handful. Come on, girls. You going back down there? Yep, go back down. All right. Oh, what a relief. For being my first split, and it actually worked. I guess the key is, don't bug the bees and just let them do their bee thing. Even though I come out here and I check on them every day. I don't go inside the hive every day, I just like to go outside and I stand out here watching them, seeing what the activity is like and try to get to know each hive's personality because that's pretty much part of beekeeping. Learn your bees. So we officially have three hives up and going. So they must have took down that queen cell pretty quickly after she hatched out because that thing was gone. I'm not going to go to hive one. I don't need to. Don't need to pull nothing out. They're good. Like I said, I turned around and pulled out the queen excluder out of here yesterday. And that's because I seen a bunch of bees on the queen excluder, but they weren't going really up into it. So I want to see them go up into it. Okay, again, I'm not doing this to collect honey. Honey is just a byproduct to me. I'm doing this to raise the bees. I want to be able to sell bees. Hopefully, maybe this fall I'll get some queens going. I just got my queen rearing kit. So I am going to pick up a couple of frames, this way I can actually add on to it. If not, I might just pull out a frame out of the medium here and let them do what they want to do with this and put a queen excluder, or not queen excluder, but the queen rearing frame up in here and start off with like five on it and see how that goes. Alright, well, again, it's July 18th. And everything's looking good on the beehives. These are active. We got a queen inside hive number three. That is just awesome. 
This is hive number three. Yeah, we have the queen inside. I have to go ahead and mark it. I'll do that when it's not so windy out and when I get the queen catcher I ordered. Hopefully it shows up soon. I don't want to use that little plunger one I have. This is with the one-handed queen catcher. This is hive number one. And they're doing really good. I'm talking, they only have... I swapped out the frames from that one into that one. And... Or some frames of brood, just so you know. And I took some empty frames and put them up inside here. And they are almost fully drawn out. And then we get hive number two. And these guys are doing good too. I put the honey super up on top. Unfortunately, I have to pick up a piece of one by one and reduce this because this is a two inch piece and it's just a really big gap in here. I figure once they go up in here and start drawing comb down, they'll just build a ladder or pretty much a ladder up inside here with their bow, bird comb. But again, I want to see them start going up. They still have a few frames down there that they can draw out still. Um, a lot of brood being hatched. Got a couple handful of bees coming in with pollen still. So until next time, this is Andrew with Great Lakes Honeybees Keepers Association inside northern Wisconsin saying have a great weekend. Be safe.